Hello everybody, Dr. F. Scott Field here, and I'd like to introduce you to our newest sponsor. The NPTE Final Frontier is the review course that I wish was around when I took the board exam. For those of you who know my story, it took me a handful of times to pass that exam, and quite frankly, I really wish I had an an exam review course around, uh, just like the NPTE Final Frontier. Uh, Check out their website, npteff.com, and use the code HET at checkout for 10% off to all of our listeners and fans. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Healthcare Education Transformation Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. F. Scott Field, and I've got with us today a lovely guest, Vidhi Radia. Uh, Vidhi is a physical therapist, but also has an interesting uh, position within the NPTE Final Frontier group we're going to talk a little bit about today. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, Vidhi, why don't you tell us a little bit about your educational background and how it led you to where you're at today? Um, Hi, everyone. I am Vidhi, and I am originally from India. I did my bachelor's in physical therapy uh, in India. Uh, In 2016, I came to the United States at um, University of Pittsburgh, and where I did my master's, and then I went on to do my MBA from University of the Cumberlands. Um, Right now, I'm almost four years out of school, passed my NPTE, uh, and working as a clinical manager in an outpatient physical therapy clinic. Uh, about NPT Final Frontier, I first took their course um, in 2018 uh, when I sat for my NPTE and oh boy, that changed everything for me because it's difficult, you know, these exams, the boards are difficult, no matter how much you study throughout your school and everything, it's difficult and they, I think, helped me tremendously and since then, since 2018, I've been a part of Final Frontier family um, and I think I enjoy it more than anything else. Yeah, uh, you know, we were talking a little bit before the show about how I wish that the NPT Final Frontier existed back when I took the test, you know. Uh, I think when I took it, it was about, what, 2006 or so, Uh, and it took me a handful of times to pass that exam. It was tough, and I just, I couldn't find, there wasn't really uh, review courses back then. You kind of just went with, like, the old score builders textbook or whatever. They brought you in for a weekend, kind of showed you how the test looked, the, what the layout was and the percentage of breakdown for, you know, sections. Um, and then you kind of, the second day you went over a couple of review questions and then they kind of sent you on your way with a, a book and a CD-ROM, you know, with a couple of uh, practice tests on it. Uh, and that really wasn't how I learned, you know, that wasn't, uh, wasn't, really conducive to me. I actually found out later in life that I was not a very good learner anyway. I was more of a rote memorization guy, and that is not learning. Uh, As many of you know, and I've said this time and time again, uh, you know, rote memorization is is not true learning, and it took me going through an entire EDD program to figure that out. Uh, So kind of a sad state of education for myself, but I I was an English major before I became a PT, you know, so it was a lot of... uh, learning curve for me anyway. Um, but uh, Vidi, why don't you tell us a little bit about your involvement in the NPTE Final Frontier, because you're in a special kind of uh, a position where, you know, people think NPTE Final Frontier, and it's just a, a test review for the NPTE, right, or the PTA exam or whatever, right? But you guys are actually taking it a step further. And I love the fact that you really have built a community around this, you know, review course and these study groups and and this test. And now you're taking it even a step further. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? So um, everybody knows NPT Final Frontier. Now, this is a branch of the Final Frontier family, which is called the Career Final Frontier. When we sat down um, in a meeting one day, all together, um, trying to think about how can we advocate for our, our students that we've had for so long, they trust us. They, we have an 11 week program. Now you would think it's only 11 weeks, um, but that actually really builds a firm trust between us and the students that they start to believe in us. Now, how can we take that trust a step forward? How can we help them not just um, to get through their exams, but also in their career, in their life as to getting a job, where to get a job, who do they trust? What is the right wage? Um, if this resume looks right, how do I negotiate a salary? Um, all of these things, we had a lot of students come out to us and ask us all these questions. And we were like, you know, helping them uh, via messages, via phone calls. But we finally thought that, okay, this is the right time. I think 
the the field needs us a little more than just the exam um, and that's where career final center came to to a launch and um, we started to actually help people in all these areas that i mentioned uh, may it be making a resume finding a job um, negotiating a salary trying to to see okay if these benefits are right if something mentioned in your offer letter seems legit or this shouldn't be there all all that kind of stuff yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, it makes total sense, right? As a natural progression, you have these students that are studying really tough. They're, you know, working their hardest and they're trying to figure things out and, you know, they're nervous, they're anxious. You guys give them the confidence and the, you know, the wherewithal to take this exam, to step up into their own and really be confident about it and take and pass the NPTE, you know, the very tough final board exam for physical therapy, right? Well, then what happens after that, right? They just drop off and like, good luck, you know, all right, our job is done here, right? No, like the next step is really navigating and figuring out a career path for these new grads and these newly licensed physical therapists and physical therapy assistants, right? Like any, anybody who, who has the opportunity to get some form of mentorship or career directional help, like that's huge, you know, and, and again, like I said, I think the cool part about it is it's built around a community. You know, you guys have done a really good job building up community. So why don't you talk a little bit about that and how it's more than just, you know, people studying for an exam, but, but how you really have worked to build this network and this community of people that really got each other's back and they're there for each other and they, you know, enjoy hanging out and talking and having discussions. Yeah. Um, so we have like an alumni group now. Um, we have the main Facebook page. Um, that is there as an educational um, page on Facebook, which tell, which has all our students in there. Okay, we have a good amount of conversation every day about questions, any any concerns that they might have, anything that they don't understand in class, they could put up there. Um, now that's when you're in the 11 week program or after or before you don't have to be in the program to be in that group it's an open educational group and then one we have a group where um, if you're in the full life class um, for a certain um, quarter of your exam you will be put in that group what happens after you pass all of this um, and you're like an alumni like you're an alumni from a school this is like a coaching program but you become an alumni and then you get into the alumni NPTE final frontier group we have a very big community of thousands of people in there that have passed with us and stay with us in that alumni group. Um, and that is where we're building a community for Career Final Frontier, where we want to do group discussions. We do once a month monthly discussion to advocate for them, what we can change on our side. Um, Bhupendra Singh has a pretty good um, catch over there, and he really helps in advocates and brings on the discussions over there um, and through career final frontier that community is where um, we help now um, someone would ask me what if i'm not a final frontier student um, what if i don't um, have the mentorship i don't have i haven't taken the course with final frontier am, am i still allowed to use services um, for my career just i don't i just want my I, I just want advice on career. And that's absolutely where this belongs. You don't have to be um, a student for Final Frontier or have to have a certain course taken with us to be able to use the um, services for your career. You can, you can very well go on, on the website and choose what's best for you or get in touch with either of our team members um, and we can help you out at any stage. You don't have to be a student or a member of the Final Frontier family. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, it, it, you know, it really is a new a door, right? A new opportunity for people to come in your pipeline and kind of learn about things like, you know, resume or CV type stuff, right? And, and like tightening that up and really getting ready to put their best foot forward. Um, I know I've heard a lot of uh, students have had success with some like mock interviews and like practice interviews and stuff with people and that's worked uh, very well. Um, and then just like you said, like knowing a contract and what it looks like, is this good? Is this normal? Are there red flags in there? Are there things I should run away from, you know? Right. Um, so I, I think that that's very helpful because 
again, being on the other side of the coin now and teaching in academia, we don't always have time to touch on as, as much of that stuff as we'd like to, because again, we're trying to get them prepped and ready for the NPTE, right? Uh, so a lot of times there's not enough room for it in the curriculum. And I always used to think that that was kind of a cop out, like, oh, you know, we don't have enough time to teach, you know, there's too much stuff already stuffed into the curriculum. But now I see it and I get it, it's true. Um, you know, I do think if it's if it's really important to you, you'll find ways to kind of weave it into the curriculum. So I, I've tried to do that a lot with, with my classes and with my students. Uh, luckily, we've got some good student special interest group for after hours that, that kind of helps. But that's kind of like what you guys are doing, too, is, is giving them more opportunities than just study groups, more opportunities to reach out, to talk to people, to interact. And, and what's even more important, I think, is building their network. You know, you're, you're helping them build their network, not only out, you know, in whatever setting or whatever city they want to work in, but now with the Facebook group and with all the other career opportunity groups that you've got going on, now these new grads have an instant built-in network where they can actually reach out to people across the country that maybe they know are specializing in a certain, you know, uh, population or a body part or a setting or something like that. And they can keep coming back to this group and asking questions and really fostering that network. Um, why don't you touch a little bit and just talk about like, you know, the importance of a network, because I know I tell my students, that's one of the first things they should be doing on day one as a student is starting to build their network. So that's correct. I love that. I mean, networking is everything. And I, it's, it's a saying that you don't know with someone when someone can be of help to you. So saying a casual hi to someone could mean a lot, maybe two days later or five days later or five years later, and you don't know how um, good that would work out for you. Not just um, people from your classmates or from your batch of students, but the ones um, that are senior to you, the ones that are junior to you, um, anybody in the community that is really like connected to or from the PT environment, not even that, even, even today, if I were to give you an example, I have um, patients in my clinic that I see all the time. Uh, they have their nieces and nephews or their kids who want to be pursuing PT and they sort of talk to us and build like um, a connection and then, then ask, like, you know, they, they gently ask us, if, would you be able to help my child or my niece or my nephew um, to get through how to go about this? What do you think? Is it worth it? And stuff like that. So just a simple conversation with someone could, could go a long way. Um, and with Career Final Frontier, what we're trying to do is um, everybody that is interested could go up on the web website for um, careerfinalfrontier.com and drop in their resumes. It's so free. You don't ha have a charge. You don't um, have to pay for anything. You just drop your resume and put your interests in. That way we have uh, a collection of interest that, okay, this person is interested in suppose outpatient, ortho, this state, this city. Um, and I have a track of all of that now we have really good clients with us that um, partner with us and we trust them. We are only uh, doing partnership with clients that we trust on because we wanna advocate for our students. So we're not trying to partner with anybody that comes our way, but we're trying to really scrutinize who we partner with so that we know that we're sending our students to those people. So in a way, if you drop a resume, that's also building a network. That way I know you through your resume. I can have a phone call with you, learn your interests. You never know. Um, it may be a match sometime in the future or near or far future. You never know. Yeah, I love that. And I, you know, again, that's one of the reasons that we at the HET podcast have chosen to, you know, partner with you guys as well, because I just love what you guys are doing. Like I said, I wish that the, this had been around back when I took the exam, but you know, we had David and Emily on in before, and we're going to, you know, probably have a couple more of you guys on as the years go on. And, and one of the things that we kind of asked, and this is a bit of a loaded question because of the position you're in, but, you know, what is your favorite part of the NPTE Final Frontier group? What's your, what's your favorite thing that you guys are doing? What, what, what do you love about it so much? I think the, the thing that I love the most is that the team members are so connected and committed to a cause in helping a student. Uh, we wouldn't sit back and think, oh, has this student paid us? Has this student um, gone through us? Or 
they're doing another review group or they're they're not yet signed up and should we help them or not no every single team member is dedicated on this journey to help the student um whenever wherever whoever it doesn't matter where you're from it doesn't matter to how much do you know if you know as little as a drop uh, we will help you to fill um that drop and make it to wherever you want it to be i've had Bupender Singh actually helped me through the hardest time when I in, in 2018, when I was having difficulty even deciding should I, should I take an exam or not. And I know that that stands still even today, four to five years later, if I were to call him any time of the day, I know I will hear back. It, there is not a disconnect between the person who owns and who is the founder of this place to, to where I am today. Um, so the connection and, and the, the dedication to help students is what, what I find really interesting. And that doesn't go away no matter what. Yeah, no, I, I couldn't agree more. I, you know, I've, I've met with uh, Dr. Singh several times now and uh, had him on the podcast before and super nice guy, super knowledgeable, uh, you know, and, and it's really, I, I'm just impressed with a lot of the, uh, the people that are involved in, and are teaching and helping to, to, you know, mentor and helping to, you know, tutor a lot of these students through these, these testing situations. Uh, everybody is just so smart, you know, and, and it, it's a lot of terminal degrees, you know, which is really good to see too. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I just, again, applaud everybody over there at the team. I can't, I can't say enough good things about them as well. Um, you know, Vidhi, we've got one last question that we ask all of our guests. And that question is, if you could change one aspect of higher education, whether it be, you know, the DPT uh, realm or otherwise, what aspect would you change and how would you change it? So my concern that I've seen an outpatient with a lot of university partnerships that we have uh, for the clinical rotations um, with uh, my company is that when they reach to their third year of clinical rotation, so that this is their last rotation, um, many times I've seen them um, struggle trying to reach to passing their clinical rotation and then having to take the NPT right after. So what I see is that there is a lot of pressure on the student to actually finish their DPT, uh, graduate, uh, make sure they do very, very well in their last clinical, and then give their NPT. And in the, in the, in the far past few years that I've been a mentor for the students and I've been the, the clinical instructor. I've seen that because they have so many things on their plate in, the, in that end couple of months, I see that they end up not passing the exam and they're so stressed all day. Um, I remember a student telling me that, that he would sleep, like he would sleep with anxiety, have, have like worry all the time as to how he would finish like being a student that his clinical instructor would want to see and pass the boards. Um, so one thing that I would want to change definitely is the load of the clinical rotation and taking the NPT right after. I think if there were NPT final frontier attached to the program right away, that would take off so much pressure from the student's head at to not wanting to decide, okay, what should I study first? What should I study last? Because there's a timetable. There's a whole course set up for you as to what you have to do. Um, um, and that would make it easy on the student to graduate, finish their rotation and take the exam with ease. So I think the problem and solved to that was for me that I've seen in the last couple of years is this one. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, that's a lot of cognitive load, we call it, in, you know, in academia at the very end, you know, it's a culmination of three years or, or more of learning. Uh, and then the, the clinical rotation, their final clinical rotation, which is basically working 40 hours a week and not getting paid for it. Right. And then they have the exam after that. And some of them are, you know, trying to take it a little early. Some of them are trying to, you know, gear up, get ready for graduation and then take it. Either way, it's a lot. So I, I completely understand that. And, you know, if there was a way to build in a little buffer time in between, a little downtime, that would be nice for sure. Um, I don't know. I don't know if CAPD will, will be okay with that. I don't know if universities would be all right with that. I think, you know, it, it, there's a lot of moving pieces there for sure. So it would it would be interesting to see how to, how to tease that out and see what would fit best. But Vidhi, thank you so much for coming on and for educating our our guests and our, uh, our audience rather on all things uh, NPTE, Final Frontier and beyond uh, now that you guys have got that career track. 
Uh, where can people find you online on social media or on, on the interwebs if they have questions and want to follow up with you or just learn more about uh, the program and what you're working on? Sure. Uh, so they can email us at support at careerfinalfrontier.com. So careerff.com, support at careerff.com. Or you can visit the website at careerfinalfrontier.com and you will get all the information. You're allowed to, like I said, drop a free resume, reach out to us. You can plainly go to that Facebook page of NBT Final Frontier, drop in a message over there and someone should be able to reach out to you. So there are several platforms um, as to how you can get to us. Um, it's, it's just one, one click away. We're just one click away. Awesome. And we'll put all those links in the show notes so people can find you. Um, and as always, you know, if you guys use the code HET for anything NPTE Final Frontier related, you get 10% off. So thank you guys again for partnering with us. We appreciate everything you guys do and uh, look forward to talking more to you guys in, in the future. That's great. It was nice chatting with you today. Absolutely.